I like to think of the Bering Ground as an outdoor history museum. It's a great place to learn about the history of the town, history of families. The settlers in Deerfield were Puritans. They believed in predestination. They believed that when you were born, you were either going to go to heaven or hell, and you didn't know, so you had to kind of live a good life. Puritans didn't believe in the sanctity or the holiness of the human body. It was ashes to ashes, dust to dust, so the burying ground needed to be away from the meeting house, which is located on the town common. When you walk into the burying ground today, you see almost 300 stones from the late 1600s to the early 1800s. In the early 18th century, the view of death was more grim. The iconography on the stones would show skulls. Oftentimes, the skulls might have had wings. As the century wore on, there was a religious uh, movements in Puritan New England, and there were some shifts in thoughts about life after death. You start getting stones with cherubs and angels. A great awakening happened towards the middle of the 18th century. There's actually some neat stones in the cemetery with little angels with little powdered wigs with wings. And then after the revolution, the changes in styles really reflect the neoclassical period with the weeping willow trees and the Grecian urns. 